Hello everyone, welcome back to You Can Automate. In this session, we are going to learn about how to install APM Inspector and APM Server, right? Say why APM Inspector is required is, say for example, if you are using a Selenium and if you want to inspect any of the web elements on any of the web page, then you'll be using a dev tools to go and inspect and go and check the attributes of the web element, right? Similarly, in the mobile automation, we have something called APM Inspector. Through this, we will be able to inspect the web elements on the mobile devices, right? And coming to APM installation, it is a APM server. Through that, we will be able to connect to a mobile devices and run our run our uh, test scripts in the mobile devices. So we need both of these two to start with the APM automation. So let's begin with the APM inspector first, and then we'll go for APM installation. If you go to Google and search for APM Inspector and this is how you will get it right APM Inspector and you just need to click on APM Inspector GitHub here and here if you scroll down this is a GitHub repository for APM Inspector if you scroll down there is a something called releases right and uh, you just need to go to this releases and you need to install once you install, you'll get uh, this kind of uh, inspector so that through this we'll be able to inspect the web elements on the mobile devices that is mobile emulator, right? So let's begin, let's go to this uh, releases and install our APM inspector. So right now is uh, 2022.7.1. So I just need to install APM inspector here. So what I will go uh, do as my machine is a Mac machine, I'll just click on the Mac, this particular link. If you are using a windows you just need to click on windows this exe okay once you click on that this particular apm inspector will download in your system so let's wait until it get downloaded in my system so it got downloaded in my system i'll click on open here right it will open that particular exe and it will start downloading it okay i'll just move this apm inspector into application okay it got installed now i'll just go to my applications here and uh, i'll go to application and i can search for apm inspector in windows also you can do just go to windows and search for apm inspector wherever it got installed right so it is asking that it is downloaded from internet shall i open this just click on open So this is how the APM inspector looks like. This is a remote host uh, where you can give uh, this particular as it is running, uh, it, the APM is running in the local. So you can give the local address here. And this is a port, we can give 4724 is a port and a remote path, right? And this add capabilities is something like some of the attributes uh, which we require to connect to a emulator and that we will provide here what is a version of the emulator, what is a device, everything here. And we can click on start session. We will see about all these details when we uh, connect to a mobile devices and when we start automation, right? Now this is how the APM inspector will get installed in any of the machine. Now let's go to APM, right? We need a APM, APM is required as a APM is a server which we require to connect to uh, devices mobile devices and run our automation scripts, right? Now, if you go to npjs.com and the APM, so this is how the APM package uh, installation looks like. I'll give these two URLs in the description. So, so what is the command to install APM is npm i APM. Just copy this particular thing, go to your terminal here, okay, and here, just enter this command npm i APM at next okay so why we are use a next is it will install the latest version of the apm so that's why we need to use a apm at next okay let me enter that command so that it will install this apm here so it will take some time to install the apm here okay it looks that uh, everything got installed here okay after that to check whether APM got installed or not to confirm whether APM got successfully installed or not I'm going to enter a command called APM hyphen hyphen version right this should tell me the version what is the version it got installed in my system 
so 2.0.0 beta version got installed in my system that means that this is fine now what is the other thing which we require is apm doctor apm doctor is nothing but uh, to check all the configuration in your system which all required for your mobile automation right that's why we call it as a apm doctor there is a separate package called apm doctor that we need to install to install that i need to install like this npm i right g and apm iphone doctor this is a command to install the apm doctor this should uh, install iphone g is nothing but a global so that it is available throughout your system so it started installing the apm doctor this is very important to check the configuration before starting with the automation so if any of the configuration or any of the setup is missing it will show directly so let it install this apm doctor so apm doctor got installed to check whether apm doctor got installed successfully or not and to check what is the version it got installed what we can do apm iphon doctor then i need to enter a version right iphon v so this should tell me the version of apm doctor here okay uh, i guess iphon v is not available so i will need to use iphon iphon version so if you see here iphon iphon version is a command to check the apm doctor version let me enter that command here so 1.16 version got installed successfully right now to check here it is said that to check the android setup iphone iphone android we need to use we can use this iphone iphone android to check the android setup is uh, done successfully or not right let's check that apm doctor doctor right iphone iphone android so that it will check all the requirements all the setup which are actually required for android automation is available right now or not okay so i'm just i'm typing this command apm iphone doctor iphone iphone android this should tell if any of the setup any of the configuration is missing in my system it will take time to check all the configuration so here it is showing that what is the apm doctor version what is the node version right and node version is a 16.3.13.2 and where we have uh, installed this node js it is showing the path also and it is checking other dependencies which are required so now this has checked the few items in my system that is android home it has checked that android home is set up successfully that's why it is showing a green tick mark here and java home is set up for so and so path it is showing the java home it is also fine and it it has checked the adb also android emulator exists and it is showing the path also and it is also checking that where my java virtual machine is set up and it is showing the path like this it will check what all required for android to run android automation android emulator to run right it will check go and check all the details in your system and this is very important before starting with the automation to check whether all the setup is fine in our system or not if any of the system if any of the setup is missing it will show that particular setup with a cross mark we have to go and install that this is how the ipm inspector and apm server can be installed in your machine do try out these and let me know if you have any questions thank you